The Bekaa Valley, the most fertile in Lebanon, is home to hundreds of thousands of refugees. I'm back in the country with UNICEF for the first time in more than 40 years. Now, because of the conflict in Syria, it has 4,300 of what it calls informal settlements. Lebanon's one and a half million Syrians are per capita the densest concentration of refugees in the world. Nizreen and her children fled from Raqqa six months ago. The resilience of these people is quite extraordinary. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Fun, fun, thank you, and how are you today? Bravo! Once a month, the mobile medical unit arrives here, funded by UNICEF, and provides basic health care, including inoculation against polio, not always cheerfully received. Lebanon says the refugees are welcome to come here for as long as necessary, but they are expected eventually to return. The country, for all its divisions and difficulties, has taken in more Syrian refugees than all the European democracies put together. It would be easy to come away with a feeling of total despair in an emergency apparently without end, except for the spirit of these people, especially the children, their humour, their resilience, their determination. But they can't do this all on their own. They need help. UNICEF is there to help them with their survival, with their health, with their welfare.